Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. Now recently we know that Kanye West was being Kanye and he had a discussion with Alex Jones in which he basically said that he loves the Jews and he loves the Nazis. Right? He basically said that there were redeeming qualities of all people and that you shouldn't just focus on the negative aspects of the Nazis, right? Now, we all know that for years we've been flooded with propaganda about anti-Semitism and so it sounds strange to even say that there were redeeming qualities of the Nazis or redeeming qualities of Hitler, right? But if you look at this video from the Smithsonian Channel, this video title is called The Nazi Engineer who created the first ballistic mis uh, missile. Now this is the Smithsonian Channel. They made this video six years ago, but the video has not been labeled anti-Semitic. The Smithsonian Channel has not been labeled Nazi sympathizers. Okay, and we also have another video from Timeline World History Documentaries. And the title of this video is The Powerful Secrets of Nazi Science, Hitler's Secret Science. Okay, there are numerous videos on YouTube in which persons are talking about the technological achievements of the Nazis. But nobody is saying that these persons are being insensitive to the Jews and nobody is saying that these persons are actually in love with Hitler or that they are neo-Nazis because they can recognize some of the redeeming qualities of Hitler or the Nazis. Alright? But I digress. In this particular video, I want to discuss this symbol. This is the symbol that Kanye West posted on Twitter that actually caused his Twitter page to be suspended by Elon Musk. Alright? And what Kanye West did was he posted a photo of this um, six-pointed star with the swastika juxtaposed over it or actually joined into it right so you can see that it's like a series of continuous lines that all intersect with the swastika in the middle right and people saw this and say well Kanye you're going too far you've gone too far you've gone over the deep end right but what I would like to say in this particular video Neither the Star of David or the swastika can be claimed by the people who currently are associated with it. All right. And so I found some articles. So I found some articles swastika that are basically talking about the, the use of, of the swastika and the Star right. of David so in antiquity. And so I just wanted to share some of these articles from this article in this I video. Found on magazine. The first article that I'm referencing um, is taken from Sanskrit Magazine, and the author of the article right. is Stephen Knapp. And, and in this article, holy he's talking about the art and symbol from thousands of years ago. Practically, the only symbol that is more important in the Vedic tradition is the Sanskrit Om symbol. It is an ancient symbol that has been found on sculptures from the early excavations of Mohenjo Daro. Okay. It says, unfortunately, unfortunately in the West, it has a negative connotation because of its use by the Nazis from 1935. At that time, it was seen as a black cross on a white circle, and now among some sections of society, it is viewed as a symbol that represents a radical perspective. But the real meaning of the symbol before it was used by the Nazis in Germany was very different. It says that its association within the, Nat the National Socialist German Workers' Party in the 1930s, which is etched in the minds of Western society. Before Hitler, it was used in 1870 by the Austrian pan-German followers of Schonerer, an Austrian anti-Semitic politician. Okay. But it says, the swastika appears as a cross with branches bent at right angles pointing in a clockwise direction. In essence, it represents well-being for all, and the circular nature of its points 
represent the repetitive nature of reincarnation and also indicates the all-pervasiveness of the absolute and eternal nature of the Brahman, the spiritual dimension. So this is a person speaking from the Indian and the Hindu perspective and he is talking about its significance in their spirituality. Okay, and it also says that the four branches of the swastika represent the fourfold principles of divinity. All right. The word swastika in Sanskrit is composed of two words, su, which means good, and asati, which means to exist. And they combine this and say that it means may good prevail. Therefore, it, is also, it also represents happiness and is often displayed at celebrations cultural and religious ceremonies and at weddings or festivals of the Vedic tradition. It also says other cultures have a high regard for the swastika. The Buddhists consider it as the symbol of the genesis of all flora. Jains who are the followers of Jainism also draw the swastika in front of their deities when making offerings to them. In antiquity the swastika was used extensively by the Hittites, Celts, and Greeks among others. It occurs in other Asian, European, African, and Native American cultures, sometimes as a geometrical motif, sometimes as a re religious symbol. The swastika was a widely used Native American symbol. It was used by many southwestern tribes, most notably the Navajo. Among different tribes, the swastika carried various meanings. To the Hopi, it represented the wandering Hopi clans. To the Navajo, it represented a whirling log, a sacred image representing us, a legend that was used in healing rituals. And so basically, family, what I'm beginning to describe to you is the extensive use of the swastika by ancient cultures prior to the Nazis co-opting it. Okay? As you all know, Adolf Hitler commissioned an expedition into Asia and India seeking the origins of the Aryan race or the white race and they brought back many artifacts from India including statues of the Buddha which also had the swastika in the center all right and I believe there's a section in this article speaking about the Vedic culture, also the Buddhist use of the swastika. It says the Buddhists consider it as the symbol of the genesis of all flora. Okay, and so family, this indicates to me that all of the hoopla that is being made of Kanye West using this symbol is bogus at best. Okay, and also I found an article speaking about the Star of David and its use prior to Judaism. It says the evolution of the six-pointed star, the Magen David, literally the shield of David, also known as the hexagram, or more rarely Solomon's seal, is a long and complex one. Although it is now the most common and universally recognized sign of Judaism and Jewish, Jewish identity, both within and outside of the Jewish community, it has only achieved this status in the last 200 years, right? Before that, it was chiefly associated with magic or with the insignia of individual families or communities. Yet, despite its equivocal history, Jews have long been attracted to this design and have sought to ascribe to it venerable origins. Okay, family? And so basically, they are describing the co-opting of this symbol by Judaism in the last 200 years, okay? It also says in this article that because of its geometric symmetry, the hexagram has been a popular symbol in many cultures from earliest times. Anthropologists claim that the triangle pointing downward represents female sexuality and the triangle pointing upward male sexuality. Thus, their combination symbolizes unity and harmony. According to the book Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated, the hexagram is formed by the united by united the water triangle and fire triangle, which is the six pointed star, star of David. When the two triangles are joined together into one symbol, 
it forms a six-pointed star known as the double triangle hexagram, crest of Solomon, star of the microcosm, and shield of David. It is even called the talisman of Saturn, and as you all know, Saturn is associated with Satan. And in another book called The Gods of India, this is another connection to India. It says that the triangle with its apex upward is also taken to represent fire, identified with the male principle. The linga or phallus, symbol of Siva, the progenitor or the cosmic person. The triangle pointed downward represents the force of inertia which pulls downward and tends to, su uh, to suppress activity. It is associated with the element of water, which always tends to come down to equalize its level. Okay, family. We see, writes William, K. William F. Dankenbring, that this ancient occult figure of the hexagram, or Star of David, as it is also called, is nothing more than a repulsive pagan symbol of sexual union and reproduction. The triangle pointing downward represents the female sexual origin, or organ, the vagina, and the upward pointing triangle represents the male penis. Joined together in the hexagram, they, rep they represent the act of sexual intercourse. Thus, the hexagram was a part of Satan's original sex worship rites and symbols of ancient Baalism.